Hello jury members, we are team Nullcheck and our project for the SheBuild Hackathon following the education track is ClassHub. You might be thinking what is ClassHub and how did we come across the idea of ClassHub? Over the past few years, we have seen that learning has been active and not passive. Different features are used on different platforms making the management of things difficult. The research done on education pattern in our country suggests that teachers and students have to manage many portals to keep the track of records. To avoid such a problem, an educational website ClassHub has been made for the students to manage their academics and for the teachers to manage their records. This problem was first cited during COVID times which made us come across with this idea of ClassHub. The website has all the features combined in one single portal, which makes handling of academics and records easy for students and teachers respectively. Some of the key features that our project has are we have timetable generating feature, mark sheet generation feature, virtual labs that are not seen in many websites that too in one single website. Now to showcase all the mentioned features, let's move on to the demo of the website application. This is our website, Classer. In this, you can log in. Firstly, let's log in as a admin. And here we are with the admin panel. And from here, you can register a new teacher or a new student. So for example, I need a new teacher. A new teacher is here and I need, or rather, let's add a new student. We have a student. Uh, let's say it to be student two and whatever password you will for this and then its role number. its date of birth and we have his or her phone number then we give his or her name his or her branch and his batch role as a student and then we choose his courses and then register and here we see a prompt which says our student has been registered so this is a section where you can generate your timetables so firstly let's fill out the number of periods we have to get on a given day like on Monday we will have 6 then 4 3 5 4 and on Saturday let's keep it to 0 because we don't have classes on Saturday and let's fill out the lectures and respective fields whatever it's given CSE compiler design and four lectures Teacher one, IT, not IT. Let's keep it to CSE only this time. And two lectures. Okay. Let's generate the timetable now. And here we have our timetable. If we would have filled more number of periods, then this would have been more populated. And from here, you can download the timetable. It will be downloaded in a PDF format and here is the PDF format and this you can share with the faculty so they can organize their day. Let's move on to mark sheet generation in the admin panel. In this you can select your CSV file which contains all the information and you will get a table where you can if there is some improvement you can just use the edit button and save it and then you can download the pdf of the report card 
of the student and you will get a report card in a PDF. And here is the report card which contains all the information given in the CSP. Moving further, we have seen the admin panel. Now, the thing is, we have two other sections, teacher and student. So, firstly, we will be logging in as teacher from this side. And from the other side, let's log in as a student. Okay. So, after logging in, we ha have few things. Like, we have the live classes. So, for this, in live classes, in the student, in the teacher section, we, we will be starting a live class of the microprocessor. And then, for example, it, I will be naming it as MPI classes. And I will be naming myself as ABC. Okay. And I will create a room. And from here, I can enter into the classroom and on the other side if i just mute it because it will echo and echo and so as you can see in our live class section we can click over here to join and here put my name and yes we have yes, 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 yes. and here we are in the classroom One more thing, like being in the classroom, we also face one more thing, like we have to actually take attendance. So we move on to take at attendance in the live class. The attendance has been sent. When the attendance is sent from the teacher, we have to go in the attendance panel and mark our attendance over here. And as you can see, the attendance is updated. So in this uh, live class, you can see we have plenty of options. Like you can exit the class, obviously. We have a chat section where the student can chat like, hello. And th the student and teacher can interact with each other and the other students can also interact with each other. And a very good feature, as you can see, like over here, let me enter. Okay, yeah. So, other things you can also record the screen. Your you can record your video, and that that will be shared in the recording section we have in our website. Other things we have over here is like let's close this and let's close this. We have a recording screen share section section also like all other have. You can share your screen and present whatever you want let's move on with other features so the other feature we have is vlab so it's not a simple vlab it's a wheel it's a vlab with a 3d so in it and let's go to a section like here we moved into data structure then in data structure we have two stacks and queue let's go into stacks here we have aims theory and pretest you know all of this but we have a simulation section in this in this it loads in this let's add a number like for example 10 then let's add 20 then let's add 30 And let's then pop it and as you can see like all the killer visualization we are having a concept of flip learning we are using in this to make make our visualization more more on these topics and so the student can learn more on such topics like we are continuously increasing the size of these v labs we have register we have logic gates in here also you can go into the simulation and here also it will load and as you can you will see the killer visualization of these all vlabs
So here, as you can see, it's the simple logic gates, right? Let's move on. In the student section, you see the recorded videos, right? Now, the ad recorded videos can be uploaded by teachers on their site. In the upload section, they can select the video which they, the subject and just select the video which they want to upload. For example, this and click on upload and that video will be uploaded right away. So, as you know, like assignments are the most important thing in our academics. For this, we created an advancement uh, assignment panel. In this, you can uh, create a classroom, classroom and the title, and then you will be followed on to this somewhat this type of page. And like here we have, here are the students given, and you can add new students if they are enrolled into your classroom and then the, here we have a question or you can create a question what is 8085 and you can choose the category and date until when you have to submit the assignment and hence it will be created like this now let's move on to other sections now the next feature we have is the you can access the recorded lectures for example you have this recorded lectures and you can see uh, hi like, in this video we there is this is all like you can see all the recorded lectures over here we have also uh, other lectures are not yet recorded but it can be recorded by the teachers 